Hey guys, this is Sports with Dylan. In my last video, it just came out that Michael Gallup signed a huge new contract. But there's been a couple other contracts that have been signed for people that were supposed to become free agents. And that's who I'm going to talk about in this video. Mike Williams and Harold Laundrie. Both of these contracts are great all around. I was a bit worried when neither of these respective players got franchise tagged for the teams. But now they have them locked up long term. It's a great deal because first of all, if they outperform their contract, they don't get paid a ton more. Now if they underperform, ooh. Yeah, that could be a bit of an issue. But... Also, you've got them locked up long term. I think both of them are like five year deals, four year, five year deals. So you will have them during their whole prime, which is great. You don't have to be in the same situation next year. You're like, okay, we should we franchise tag them again? We're trying to negotiate a deal, but it doesn't seem to be going well. Should we let them walk? I don't know. Now you've got them locked up long term. Now, neither of these teams have the cap space they did, especially the Chargers. It's crazy. Resign Mike Williams and trade for Cleo Mack, and now they went from one of the top teams with cap space to not that much anymore. So they won't be able to make many other moves, but they still have enough to make an another one more big splash, it seems like. First of all, I'm going to talk about Mike Williams. He was Justin Herbert's top option this year. I know Keenan Allen outperformed Mike Williams, but Justin Herbert preferred to throw to Mike Williams. And Mike Williams was the one making those wow catches. Now, I still thought they are going to let him walk, given that he's been inconsistent throughout his career. But at the same time, when you have a franchise quarterback, and he is a favorite receiver, if they have learned anything... From the Deshaun Watson and Aaron Rodgers sagas in the past years. Then don't get rid of that receiver. Ever. So I think this was a smart enough move. You do not want to anger Justin Herbert. You can't be in a situation like the Texans are. Of course the Texans purposely trade away all their good players. That made no sense. At least the Chargers GM's better than Bill O'Brien was. But anyways, this is a great deal, I think. It was a bit overpay, I think, but now you have both receivers locked up, which leaves the free agency and draft for you to find other key pieces. They might still need a tight end because Justin Herbert likes his tight ends quite a bit, and Jared Cook's 34. So can we really expect expect him to go that much longer. Plus, he's a free agent as well. So, yeah. They could still use a tight end. But besides that, now they can focus on the defense. And I know they trade for Khalil Mack. But why stop there? They could still sign one big free agent and maybe draft a guy as well. And make that one of the top defenses in the league. I mean, it already is. Khalil Mack, Joey Bosa. Okay, totally one of the top defenses. But now it's even better if they get those players. Aside from that, Chargers don't have many other needs. Their offensive line's great now with Corey Lindsley manning the center. And soft, well, soon to be sophomore Rashawn Slater. So... Both those are great pieces. They don't need to add on their offensive line. Their receivers are locked up. Austin Eckler is always a great option. Might want to work on the secondary a bit. Asante Samuel Jr. seems great, but you're still lacking. You have Derwin James. Nasir Adderley is likely to improve as well. But the cornerbacks, Michael Davis played fine, but... He's not a top corner. And Chris Harris Jr. just didn't have it this year. I think he's too old now and should be retiring. So that still leaves one hole in the secondary. So they could address that. But I think 
Just go all in on the defensive line and the linebackers. Make this group great. Make this group stop Mahomes and Wilson. They need to stop them. And yes, they might also want one corner because it's Tyree Kill, Cortland Sutton, Jerry Judy, Travis Kelsey, all in that division. So, yeah, might want a corner, but I think go all in on the defensive line is great as well. Now, going to the other team, which addressed its defensive line, Harold Laundry. I think this was a great move. They needed to re-sign him because he is one of their key pieces on their massive improvement on defense this year. Kim and Jeffrey Simmons both played great. So, I think they need to do this. It was great. Bud Dupree did not perform how he should have, but Harold Laundry and Jeffrey Simmons took over that role. So, they need to keep him if they want to stay in contention, which they did. So, I think they'll still be a contender, and if the Colts don't find a competent quarterback, they should win the division again. I mean... Texans or Jaguars are just jokes by now. So the Colts are their only really competitor for the division title. So I don't think they'll win a Super Bowl. But now they can go and address the offensive line and free agency. Maybe also one more piece on the defense to improve it. And maybe a second safety or someone to replace Janoris Jenkins. Because they should just release him. Mm -hmm by now, and besides that, maybe a younger receiver as well, because Julio Jones didn't play as well. They've got some bigger needs, tight end, but they do have Derrick Henry, maybe someone, because Derrick Henry might be injury prone now, so yeah, they have a ton of needs, and now they don't need to address the defense as much. Thanks for watching.